a new. Our width is going to be 1,000. Our height is going to be 700. Go and do Control I to change your background to black. We're going to grab a white brush and we're going to change it to about 100 pixels at 100% hardness. Then go to Window Brush, click on your shape dynamics, and we're going to change the size jitter to about 50%. Your scattering, we're going to do it about, we'll do about 60%. And then our spacing is going to be about 150%. All right, for the first layer, change your, um, make sure your flow is about 10 to 15%, and then just drag straight across. That looks good. And then add a couple dots here and there. All right, make another layer on the bottom. Change your size down to maybe about 75 or so. Make some smaller dots here in the background. Then we're going to blur them. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we're going to do about 5 pixels for that one. And then change your opacity on the layer to about 75%. Make a new layer below that one, and let's make even smaller dots all over the background. Right there. That looks fine. And then change the blur on that one. Instead of 5 pixels, let's do about 10 pixels. And then change your opacity down to about 50 or 60%. Now, with everything, let's make some big dots. Change your size, maybe, I don't know, maybe 300 or so. Draw some big dots all over the top. That's good. And then change your blur. Instead of 10 pixels, we're going to do about We'll do about 50 pixels or so. All right, now we're going to do a gradient on top of all of that. We'll do a colorful one. We'll do a colorful one real quick, and then we're done. So just your first color is going to be red. Your next color is going to be violet. Your next color is going to be a blue. Your next color is going to be a green. Your next color will be a yellow. And then your last color will be an orange. Drag diagonally, change your blend mode to multiply, duplicate that layer, change it to screen, and do it about 10%. And you are done. In two minutes, or a little bit over two minutes, you have created a very nice bokeh background with great colors. And I hope you appreciate this Photoshop tutorial. Check back soon for more two-minute Photoshop tutorials at Christian Photoshop. Thank you.